Hey guys, Sorko, welcome back to Omori. Let's carry on where we left off. I just got a couple more exploration things to do. Now that we've escaped Brevin and we have avoided becoming the unbred, we are naturally living humans once again, at least in my own imagination. Uh, I'm just looking for some golden doors that we can go through. Apparently we have uh, got the password now. I'm not sure how we obtained it, but I suppose we'll find out once we try and open one of those doors. And I think there are a couple of side quests here and there that I can complete, like in here. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap those up before we head back to the deep well. Miss Pommy has been taking care of us forever. She's always been so loving and caring. I wish I could give her something super special. Wow, is that a thank you fossil? I've never seen one of those before. Because you couldn't afford the silver spoon there, Jelly, okay? Unfortunately, I, it was pay to win. <laughs> that would make the perfect gift for Miss Pommy. Give the thank you fossil to Jelly? Fine, take it. You're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I only manipulated you into doing it because I saw it and I exclaimed how much I wanted it. I found this in the fireplace earlier. Maybe you can use it. I got a snow cone ticket. I already uh, dug up a few of those. Hehe. <laughs> Miss Pommy will be so surprised when I give her this thank you fossil. Make sure you tell her that we gave it to you. Actually, no, don't do that because it'll sound like you're regifting it. Never mind, just take it and go, alright? Oh, hey, it's this place. You guys want to get in? Mr. Jossum told me the password once so I could complete one of his errands. Oh, okay, so... That's how we got the password. I thought we found it in Brevin or something, but no, we kind of got it off screen when Hero was tending to one of Mr. Jossum's million uh, duties he'd been assigned back when he was an unpaid worker. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. I mean, I wouldn't have known if I hadn't uh, tapped on the door or you guys had let me know in the comments, so thank you so much for that. Okay, um, guessing we need to switch over to Hero if we want to get inside. Take the lead, man. Charm us in. Wonder what's behind the door anyway. What's the password? Hey, Hoagie, it's me, Hero. The password is. Hero, my man, welcome, welcome. Doors unlocked, come right on in. Okay, uh, what? Whoa, look at this place. Damn! Some sort of exclusive club. And it's, um, playing the, the Gator Guard music when we're in battle with them. <laughs> awesome. So, is this part of. Is this part of the Deep Wells organization or something? I do see the ship steering wheel at the top there. And if um, Mr. Jawsome knew the code and we're playing the gator music, I'm guessing maybe it is? Make yourselves at home, kiddos. Any friend of hero is a friend of mine. Hey, you're Hoagie. You were the guy peering through the slot in the door. I don't know how we could see your our beady little eyes when you were wearing sunglasses. Okay, so what is this? Some sort of comedy club, maybe? We can take a seat. Oh, sorry. It's not a chair. It's a bread kit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what do we got here? Hi, Papa Chip! Alright. <laughs> Thanks for introducing yourself. Uh, ooh. Are we allowed fruit juice? Me and Hoagie are the owners of this joint. He's the muscle, and I'm the muscle. Right. Left bicep, right bicep, I guess? Over here? Don't mean to interrupt their act. Loosen up a little. Breathe easy. It's time to cool those brain muscles with some tunes. Take a load off. Unwind. Welcome to Chillville. Right, uh, I don't see any jazz music come, unless it's coming from those speakers, in which case that's cheating. What song do you want to play? We can play, uh, Otherworldly CD while we drink some fruit juice. Do you want to lounge with your friends? Yes. Damn, we're VIPs now. Poor Kel has to sit on a cardboard box. Hope we're not sitting on any sort of burgers. Oh, look at that. Brotherly toast. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, isn't this a nice time? Um, Aubrey and Hero were bobbing their heads. So I'm just sitting there. Lounging. Everyone gained five juice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. I'm guessing that's permanent. God damn it. I was running to try and find that orange door. And I saw that creepy ass black thing. Uh, I don't know if I could. Can I climb this? I suppose I just need to get through the Venus flytrap first. You know, I really wish at a certain level these guys stopped getting aggro at you. Like, damn man, I just want to run through and find this orange door instead of getting constantly into battles. On the bright side, found an extra joke, the one that I was looking for ages ago. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. That's right, but I never wrote it down in my joke book. So there we go. Now let me fight these freaking dumb UFOs. Okay, we don't have to give the password anymore, we just here. Wow, look at that. Looks like, um, the Earth is giving a performance? Where's, uh, where's Pluto at? 
Oh, okay. The Earth's not really giving a performance, it's just hovering. What's with the show today? I've heard some pretty unfunny stuff in my lifetime, but this takes the cake. <laughs> hey, you guys hearing this? The Earth is a riot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it can be. How long have we been here? Do you think the captain even realizes we're missing? Oh no, you're off duty. Stand-up comedy is hard. It sure is. It is terrifying. Oh, hello there, hero. Hi, Ems. Are you doing well? I'm doing okay. Pony sent me to the couch for timeout. Huh? You're in timeout? That's a pretty comfortable timeout. What did you do? Nothing. I just tried eating the tables over there. What? Uh, what? You tried eating the tables? You could do that? Oh. I see. The tables are made out of bread. I was just about to say, it looks like maybe they're made out of bread? Right, well, there you go. Don't tell anyone I said this, but it's tough being a space pirate. Okay. <laughs> I won't mention it to anyone. Let's uh, land with our friends. Maybe we'll get another five juice. We certainly will. Perfect. Can't serve fruit juice to miners. You know the rules. But you're always welcome to stay and enjoy the music. Oh. I guess we were just lounging after all, and I think I saw them drinking orange juice, so... There's that. Good boys. Okay, I just realized that I can swim here in the Pyrefly Forest. I know there's an orange door somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where it is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I, I got confused. I'm pretty sure I thought there was another one somewhere. Maybe I was mistaken. A golden hero sandwich. Ah, is that why... Is that why they love hero? Well, I found... <laughs> I found the golden door here. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Oh? <laughs> okay. In a cruel twist of fate, I lost my entire family today. Oh, oh no, it's Sir Maximus the Fourth. Curses. If only I was stronger. <sighs> Reuben. I'll take one more drink for my sorrows. Coming right up, Max. Oh. Uh, is it right to lounge beside him? I don't know. Let's maybe just take it easy. We'll just have a quick quick sip and then we'll get out of here. Oh, I've traveled through the Pyrefly Forest back where we last saw Basil with the uh, lit lamp. And well, what the hell is this? I saw that there was a familiar clearing much like uh, there was at uh, Faraway Park to lead to the secret hangout spot, and now we're here. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Okay, well, I'm not gonna forget to save. Let's do that right now. Mari's not even here. She's gapped and she's just like, no, fuck this. I'm gone. Daddy Longlegs, please. Can't believe I came back here. Jeez. There's just spiders everywhere. All right, well, it looks like we got a couple of these little clearings here. Where does this lead? Oh, just back to the start. Okay, so a little maze. Okay, finally found the right one. It was the last one. Is that Kel over there? Like a silhouette? Okay, we're resuming the next phase of the maze. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or deep down we bury them. They find their way back to the other side. Are you the librarian, perchance? Looks like we got some shadowy creatures here. They don't look hostile. Oh, never mind. They are. Uh, ghost money. Next phase? Trying to lose yourself? Or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. What, like, lose myself in headspace completely? Forget the troubles of the present? Wouldn't be surprised. Usually, we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for once. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Oh, what do I need exactly? I need a break. I need a break from life. Although, you could argue that I've already had the most extended break. You're still here. You must have either given up 
or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. No, I don't really like talking to you, to be honest, but you do have some interesting things to say every now and then. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. Well, I think we found Basil, everyone. Jeez, we kind of overshot a little bit when we went searching Sweetheart's Castle and the Deep Well. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go this way. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you are hiding away from the right way. Oh, okay, so I'm taking the wrong path on purpose? I suppose, uh... That's normal for quite a few people, right? Like, you know you shouldn't be drinking alcohol uh, over excessively. Uh, but you do anyway, because you want to forget, or you want to relieve the stress, or whatever. You picked up a pearl! Okay, there's that at the very least. What's down here? Oh damn, I didn't even get to speak to him. Wait, am I going backwards? Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path? when it's most certainly not the right way. Uh, because I'm curious to see where it leads. There is an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that. Like this forest. Lost. Hmm. I don't know where I'm ending up, to be honest. I feel like I'm going around in circles now. Sometimes, when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths, and eventually forget our way. Hmm. Have you found yours yet, or are you still lost? I wonder. Are we hiding things from ourselves? Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance, and watch your lie fall. My lie? What's happening? I, I, are you talking about this world, I guess? The darkness surrounds you, and it is a terrible thing. But your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? Uh, oh god. I don't know. I feel like he's prophesizing something. Uh oh the music stopped. What does that mean? Oh, I've lost control. Daddy Longlegs has me right where he wants him. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm settling in. Damn, can we light the campfire? I'm really curious as to how Headspace came about. Maybe it'll uh, tell us what exactly happened with Mari and uh, Basil. In the beginning, there only existed two. The Dreamer and his room. The Dreamer grew wary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. So I'm guessing... Uh, we shut ourselves in, in our bedroom. We, uh, withdrew from the world because Mari died. And, uh, we were just like, you know what? I can only spend so many hours in this room before I go crazy. Maybe I am going crazy. Let me make a door into this imaginary world. Let me world build. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. Ooh, are we talking about black space here, maybe? The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. I'm wondering, and this is probably like a bullshit theory, but, you know, I like to... Th 
throw them out there so you guys can laugh at me later on. But I'm wondering, you know, how we have white space, right? And we've got that light bulb that's that's full of black. I wonder, do we, like, shatter that light bulb and that's what unleashes black space, maybe? Maybe we've trapped it within that light bulb or uh, that's the only thing that's keeping it at bay? Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Because, like, uh, take that instance where we try to go back into white space and so we peek through, I'm guessing, the keyhole and we saw that shadow there. Hmm, I don't know. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. Is he? He's talking about us, right? Like, but why? Why is he telling us? Shouldn't shouldn't we know this? Maybe we've forgotten because we're ignoring the truth and whatnot, and he's trying to remind us and refresh our memory. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of. Something outside himself. Is that why he came up with Amori? Like, it's not whack in the in the dream world, right? It's it's Amori. It's a it's a entirely separate being, is it? The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. Right. From that time on, the dreamer has lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully Ignorant of his own fabrication. Damn, I feel like I'm talking to Morpheus right now, you know? <laughs> I'm about to get unplugged from the Matrix. Tr children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the Dreamer may have subdued the inex inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound. And there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Damn, this is some ominous shit. What is he talking about? Is, is the darkness that surrounds Basil gonna come attack us or something? Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril. A peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Okay. Oh. Alright. Blue fire. Oh, okay. We're just gonna self-immolate, huh? Well, Daddy Longlegs is gone. He just used flu powder. Aha. There we go. H. In the lost mm. pyre's flame. I think was the clue for that. That's why I kind of returned here. I was kind of looking for those keys. Well, I'm glad I found this one. But no one has anything to say about that. Oh, okay. We're just, we were just going to listen to that story and move on with our lives. Is that it? Come on, guys. I bet there's some sort of foreshadowing on that front, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, we got that. Now we're just missing the G beneath the trap door. Uh, yeah, in the Lost Pyre's Flame. Brilliant. Hmm. All right, let's get this show on the road, quite literally. I have friends, we can use the carpool lane now. You really have three friends? Yes, I do. One, two, three. They are all my friends, yes. Hm. All right, all right. Let's get a move on, people. Oh, <laughs> okay, it was a, uh, it was a snake barrier. All right, oh, there's the S. Wanted 
for murder. Information needed. 1-800-GOOD-GUY. Underwater highway. This must be the more populated side, it seems. Are we in the taxi? No, we're not. Of course. I was gonna say, it's going the opposite direction of where we were heading in the first place. Here's Pluto's space line. Would've been handy if I had known that there was one right around the corner, because uh, I had to swim back here. Found one clam. Perfect. Okay, we're uh, traveling through the carpool lane, but we are not in a vehicle. Found another clam. Road closed. Oh my god. Could it be? Hey, isn't that sweetheart? It is. Surely. The one and only. Not a doppelganger, right? Hey, sweetheart! Remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding! What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Ha! Married life is a joke! I ended relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. Oh, uh, did her memory get reset or did she actually get another divorce? Because she's here in the carpool lane by herself, by the way. Which is, I, th I thought, illegal. She doesn't have three friends. She doesn't even have a husband. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh, no. Does that mean you and Space Husband are... <laughs> He's Space Ex-Husband now for all I care. Ouch. That poor guy. Is it really... Is he really a poor guy at this point? I feel like he's dodged yet another bullet. He's like Neo from The Matrix. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It is more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh no, hero, I swear we should have just hidden the guy. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. Damn it. We should have left him back at Mr. Jawsome's place. But no. I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. So I've decided that I will simply just make one. What? You're gonna- you're gonna build a suitor. M make- make a suitor. Is that even possible? By regular people means no. But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Oh. Toodaloo, peasants. <laughs> I'm late for my appointment. Au revoir, bitch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There she goes. So, should we follow her? Or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah. When it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. <laughs> and that is why the two of them would never have worked. Okay. Road closed. You know we gotta go through. Uh, we got a, a muscle clam. It flexes better than kelp. I'm quite curious about that, so let's get Aubrey to smash this barrel out of the way. Boof. Oh. Oh, it's an enemy. Okay. Muscle. Of course. I should have freaking guessed. Looks like we found another joke. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Oh, God. Excellent! You recorded the joke in your joke book! That, uh, Maiden is never going to be pleased at this rate. Alright, is he gonna let us through? Do we even need to- Yeah, I was gonna say. What the heck? He's still gonna charge us uh, a toll even for using the crosswalk. Whoa, 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 where are you going, buddy? Back it up nice and slow. This here's a toll road, see? Cough up the clams or get lost. How much? Hey there, good chums. Pleasure to meet ya. <laughs> So your kids want access to the toll road. Oh, sure. But while we're at it, let's make this a little fun. Why don't you spin this wheel for me? Okay. Sure, no questions asked. 645 clams. That's someone's lucky number. It's also going to be the price for your toll. You gotta pay up? No. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. Colorful roulette. <laughs> Can I go for something cheaper? This toll here is gonna cost you, let's see here. 645 clams. Got them or not? Fine. I was one more spin for good measure. No. Oh, that's a shame. If you don't spin, you can't win. Fine, I'll spin one more time. Excellent spin, buddy. Your toll is 1251 clams. 
That sound good to you? I'm not saying- I'm not splitting that into dollars and cents. I mean, literally, 1,251 climbs. No. God! I'm the stingy guy. Now hold on one second. The numbers aren't adding up. You're going to have to spin again. <sighs> Excellent spin, buddy. Your toll is 1,922 claps. Sound good to you? Yes. Now hold on one second here. The numbers aren't adding up still. You're going to have to spin again. Fine. Hooey, we have a winner. 2,530 clams is my final offer. Come on, you gotta take it. No. <laughs> Running away ain't gonna change the price, kid. Yeah, well, apparently, just continuously spinning the wheel is. That's what I like to hear. Nice doing business with you, suckers. Fuck off. I'm the last sucker. I've tried so hard to get around this stupid clam toll gate. At least I got a one clam rebate. You got another mirror. Floating mirror. Friends smile warmly behind you. Do they ever do anything else? Uh, piano man? Oh no, it's Tuna Can. Mile out Tuna. Okay, well, sorry, I can't help you. I spent all my freaking clams, alright? Uh, who lives in the fish head? Catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine. It passes time and is moderately rewarding. Moderately rewarding, huh? Fish Boy's futon. Smells like seaweed and vinegar. I give it a 4 out of 10. Full of fish, but only the bones. Oh. Is he fishing in his own bowl? Uh... Yes. Okay, I approve. A fireplace. The fire is wet. <laughs> Some fishing rods. They look like they're used often. And fishing books. Books about the many uses of fish, fish sauce, fish oil, and fish glue. There are also quite a few cookbooks. On fish. He's a pescatarian. I want my money back, damn it. Later, Gator. Ugh. There must be a way. I can pull off a heist or something to assault this toll gate. Uh, okay. Is this some guy hanging or is it a diver? I was expecting to see some sea life, but I wasn't expecting this. Oh, yeah, we're, we're uh, we're kid life down here. Don't ask how we can breathe. At least Sandy Cheeks has a helmet. Are you here because you didn't want to pay the toll? Son of a bitch! You're the third group I've seen this week. Going all this way is kinda inconvenient, but at least you get to hold on to those sweet, sweet clams. You'll want to pay that last toll, though. Trust me. Oh, okay. Damn it. It was an alternative route. I should have known. It's okay. I wasn't really using my clams or anything. I was kinda just accumulating them, wasn't I? Oh. Damn it, I even traveled this way. I must have completely missed this cave. I'm so sorry. I'm blind as heck. Uh, can we deal with this guy? He's kind of... ...concerning. Oh god. It's a reverse mermaid. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't look at me, I'm hideous! <laughs> what are you hiding in the corner here, Goyle? <laughs> oh gosh. Poor dude. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay? Seriously, Goyle, I'm completely monochrome, okay? So... Appearances... Don't worry about it. It's about who you are underneath. Uh, okay, what do we have in here? Call! Musical clams in training! Call, call! Please show them your support! Uh, how do I do that? Would you like to listen to this musical clam? Oh, well, that's nice. Are they really training, though? They're kind of just lying here, dormant. Close this musical clam? Yes. Can I play more than one? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, still working on it. Definitely in training. Okay, so I can only do one at a time. Ooh. Consider my support showing. Let's go. Looks like we can avoid another toll if we go completely to the left there, but first I want to get to that watermelon. All right, uh, looks like we may have avoided all the toll roads. Ho 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 ho! I'm back. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Uh, bye. Okay, she's gone. Don't think anything of value was lost. One clam, maybe. Or two. Ah, Mari, we found your latest picnic spot. Good to see you on the blanket this time. Hey, Mari. It looks like we've reached the end of the road. Literally. It looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. Okay, I will take that advice. 
even though I was controlling Aubrey at the time. Let's gather some clams and get ready to cross a bridge. What do we have here? A clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Uh, not quite yet. Let's still look around a little bit. That background looks familiar. Reminds me of when I fell down one of them holes that appeared when I got one of the keys for the hangman puzzle. Interesting. This is the end of the highway. Is it though? It looks like the rest of it's just covered in darkness, which... I mean, I don't blame these guys. <laughs> Especially after what's been going on. I don't need any more darkness in my life. So yeah, we've bypassed the toll, the toll booth, which is great. Let's grab the S key. Uh, that should contribute to our hangman puzzle. So we're missing only two keys. And we've got a hole. Perfect. We're missing the W and the T. Black space it is. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Oh, we're just gonna look into it this time? Oh god. What the hell is that? Um. That was us looking into a mirror. Again. This time with red eyes. Uh, okay. So, I think we're a demon. Probably. Potentially. Please avoid my spikes at all costs. Thank you. Please avoid my red irises. Thank you. I'm not gonna talk with the toll road man. But I'm pretty sure there's another exit somewhere that I could go to. So let's, uh, let's find that. Aha! So that was like the final, final toll booth. There's obviously stuff in between. So let's go have a look at the rest of the town. Got fixing potholes. Let's start from the very beginning of this toll booth here. I'm pretty sure this, yes, this is the one that we bypassed at first. This highway is longer than I thought it would be. But now it's gonna be a walk back to the start too. Might as well keep going. Oh, well, I suppose there are no taxis in this part of the highway. We bought holes every day. Hope I'm getting paid overtime for this. That is ridiculously tiny. How oh, there's so many potholes. Jeez, they have got so much revenue from these toll roads. Which, by the way, shouldn't even be on this highway because there's no traffic to begin with. I wonder why. Move along, move along. Nothing to see here. Well, I'm walking in your pothole. There's clearly something to see, even though I can't trip over it. I'm just gonna cut these cones. Out of the way. This isn't even a hazard. You guys are just putting that there to look like you're working. Keep filling in the holes. They just keep coming back. How? Why? Who's driving through here? Or better yet, who's maybe stepping through here? Ah! Must have left my smoke sticks at home again. Okay. How do you smoke with a mouth like that? Is that even your mouth? I can't even tell. It's the yellow submarine. Let's have some food. Do you want to dine in with your friends? Yes. Looks like a SpaceX boyfriend, is that in there? Okay, I'm not gonna eat, I'm just gonna curl up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sadie. My sisters and I started this cafe together, but since clams have been tight, a lot of my sisters decided to start working at the last resort. It's just me and my sister Eleanor left. Oh, I think I spoke with your sister. She was miserable over there, by the way. You should probably try and make some space for her here. <sighs> I wish they would come back here. I would do anything to hear them sing again. Oh, well, I'll pass on the message. At least I would have if it was a quest. All the tables here are sticky. Oh, well, you should probably change your tablecloths. Why are there vending machines back here? Buy a tasty soda for 100 clams. Oh, thank you. Annual Deep Well Show Choir Competition. First place awarded to the Pit Stop Pirouettes. Oh, well, well done. Welcome to the Mustard Sub. May I take your order? Uh, okay, I'll buy one. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Well, life jam's not so bad. Combo meal. Uh, that actually worked pretty well the last time I had it. And I've got plenty of clams to spare. And since I'm saving it on the toll road, I'm gonna just buy a combo meal. Cheers, is. Uh-huh. Three orders. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know. I could ask. Okay, so you want four orders now. <laughs> Jeez. Enjoy the best cheeseburgers in town. Fries, tasty soda, life jam, you name it. Or better yet, Make it a combo meal! <laughs> okay. Shelves full of flowers. Smells like springtime. At least uh, it'll be easy to water them, since we are underwater. Advertisements. More advertisements. The space pirates are ahoying away. Alright, well, good on them. Oh. To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. He's already a SpaceX husband. 
Oh, there he goes. At least he's not bedridden this time. I can't approach him. Would be rude to disturb the show anyways. Space pirates are entranced by their captain. Good on him. Can I steal a drink? Nope, I cannot. Alright, let's go. Man, do I have to turn the lights off back here? How am I supposed to order my freaking food? Sheesh. I'm leaving. All natural sea cow farms. I think I've seen some references to sea cows. Whoa. Okay. Oh, they are hostile. Okay. Uh, whoopsies. It's a squizzard. I just realized the background for these fights is the picture for the end of the highway, so to speak. So, there we are. Apparently we're fighting at the end of the highway. Okay, let's let's not engage with the squizzards. Let's just navigate through. At least the sea cows aren't uh, hostile. Oh. Oh, okay, they're just gonna follow us, so we'll eventually walk into them. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. In here, we've got a side quest. Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as the Sea Cow Farmer. You can just call me Jim. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, a lot shorter. This farm has been a family business that's been going on for generations, but the kept keep ain't so easy with the land being overrun by squizzers and all. I tell you what, with all those dang squizzards running around, it's a miracle that this farm's still standing. If only there was someone who could help me get rid of those darn squizzards. I'd pay anything. Hey, you know what? I just had a brilliant idea. I was looking for anyone and you guys just humbled and walked right in. <laughs> if y'all don't mind getting rid of some of them slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. It's honest work. Really, promise. Can't have no peace here with all those darn squizzards running around. Varmints. Okay, well, looks like we've got a quest. A bucket of fresh and chunky sea cow milk. Let's drink some so we can heal up. Let's kick some squizzard ass. Ah, we're squizzard free. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Now give me my money so I can delightfully flee. Hey, yo. I've noticed lately that there are less uh, squizzards causing trouble around these parts. Kids are really doing your fair share of work. Here's some clams for your efforts. Go on and get something nice for yourself. <laughs> you got 5,500 clams. Wow, that is not bad. Not bad at all. If y'all don't mind getting rid of some slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily employ your services for some clams. No, it ain't much, but it's all I got. Well, I'll tell you what you don't have. You don't have any more squizzards. So, uh, I can honestly say I don't have a job anymore either. God damn it, these varmints have just appeared again as soon as I bloody went back into the barn. Sheesh. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's why I didn't heal throughout the entire encounter. But, uh, good to know. I'm vindicated. Love yourself. Okay. Be kind to others. I don't need to charity. Uh, respect your community. Wow, these are the friendliest bikers I've ever seen. Uh, there's only two bikes, though. Wow. Okay, I suppose they all fit on the two bikes. Fair enough. Uh, we're not going through the toll road via payment, of course. One clam. The water here is a bit warmer than it is in the cave up in the mountains. Oh, well, good to know there, tapioca. Right before we have a, uh, cross the road, or cross the bridge, sorry, <laughs> let's have a picnic so I can get my thoughts together and actually say where we're going. I can't believe we really made it all the way to the end of the highway. But you did, and you should all be proud. The bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Word is that Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there until recently. Oh, okay, so it's just been recently explored, and we've finally got a way to get there. Who knows what's on the other side? Adventure is what? Do you think that's where Basil is? Yeah, I totally think he just decided, you know what? I'm going to end up in the Deeper Well, since that's just a newly... <laughs> Chartered territory. We don't know for sure. But there's only one way to find out. Okay. Well, let's get moving. <laughs> 